Okay, family. Ah, uh, use the same idea to solve for this using the directional activity. But please, Mr. Bala, be my. That's the general solution. Right? General solution. We say uh, in the in terms of what x and y, and then equal to z. L for y. And yes. The a a s or b s b s minus a y a y. Please, here it will no more be in terms of barada. C and X. You see that? Alright. So it will be just T and X like this. Always this to this. This one. So let's take note of it. The lucky is sending So you are so yeah, you can identify your A, you can identify your B, and that will give you the one. The general solution. To apply this, you get a particular solution. This can be used second to solve this. But this one should have also been it's the T-X. In fact, in fact, with the direction of derivative, we can only use to solve linear equations. But you can use it to solve semi-linear, apostilinear, and the rest. And you can use that to solve. So we can generalize on that and leave it. But with the method of what characteristic equation, we can use to solve any of the equations. So let's look at that. In fact, it starts with a proof, and I won't worry myself to prove it for you. You have the videos there. Go and watch. Very good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Yes. Um, please. You are not getting any proof in OD. You are not getting any proof in OD. Don't worry yourself. Nobody will ask you to prove it. Because when we reach uh, second order, there are a lot of proof, 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 yes. But don't worry about it. There are just small things that you have to highlight. That's all. If you know what to do, you can highlight that. So. Okay. So, with the method of the characteristic equation, it's in the form. The proof is in the form. dx over a equal to dy. I think the last time. Then you, we saw you our question like, and over f. We can also write it in this way. This is the other way. In the slide, you can see. Okay. But please. This dx, we can, you can also get it dx over dt, it's still the same thing, all over a. Uh, sometimes, depending on the question, you have to bring the dt, um, the u, dt, it's still the same thing. This is the method of the characteristics what? Equation. <laughs> I will tell you. Uh, this is a method of the characteristic <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is the method of the characteristic equation. We're going to use it to solve linear equations, semi-linear equations, and the what? The position. And uh, trust me, in our in our next lecture, that's that schedule on Friday, right? Then the man can finish everything here. He can finish everything here. Alright. So Let's first get used to it so that when we get there. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 it's posted on the platform. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So now, ds over a is what? dy b is what? Negative 3. So now, with the help of the characteristic equation, we have transformed PD to OD. And which technique is that? But, uh, go for it. All right, so we can push. To go, to go, to go. To go, to go. I read, I read the book. <laughs> okay, so we uh, pa, 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 So yeah, we can get the cross of this line. Negative 3. Yes. Yes. Oh, you have to do it. Oh, you have to do it. Then we integrate both sides. So we get negative 3x, right? Equal to 4y plus, plus c. c. Here, we don't go and write a function in terms of this is O D E, single capital. Obviously, like this, single capital. Okay. So, um, here, yeah, what we do is that we make the C the subject. So, we make the C the subject. What are we going to get? Minus 3s. 4y plus 3s. 4y. Yes. Why not? 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 Why the same thing. Silas would be in G. So, to be in terms of what? The constant. So, is that you here? Yeah, yeah. I suggest you use the constant value because we have x equal to 0. Anyway, any of it, any of it, I mean, the concept is what matters. That's why normally you use G. So, by in his book, you normally use the class one. So, that when you go and look at the slide, you can see that. It's a mistake. Okay, and here yeah, you'll be uh, for the general equation um, G, then C will be what? Negative 4. Negative 4y minus 3x. That's what. So this is the general equation. Huh. So we are going back to the same thing. That would be the same. We are going back to the same thing when we're using the directional activity. So this is a general. The general, this is the general, the general equation. So now we are going to use the coach or the IBP. So what is x? Go for it. What is y? Go for it. What is u? Go for it. Go for x. <laughs> okay. So we get u to be equal to 3 can you continue to bring it? Huh. Now with this one, let me ask you. Should we call it that p is equal to this or? <laughs> so now we get g negative 4 times y is what? Minus 3 times what? 0 equal to what is u? Y K. So we get G uh -huh, negative 4 equal to Y. Please, what is D G? What is D G? D like that. Please, what is that G? The arbitrary, hmm? arbitrary points. All right. So from here, let's move straight to the point. We set p to be. You can use the variable. Okay. We set p to be called negative one, four one. But as I said, please watch it. 
by default, you have sent P to be equal to this all right. But by default, it's still the same as what? Well. It's still the same as what? Well. Don't forget. Because when you are writing the particular solution and you are looking for P to do the substitution, you won't be using this, but rather what? Like this. Don't let that confusion. Okay. So, you make Y the subject, you get what? P over negative 4. Then we put that y where? G of P. So G of here is P equal to power. So we get G of P to be equal to negative P power 3 over 16. When you read this part, don't confuse yourself, the thing is just simple. See, when you read this part, what this means is just simple. If I were you, I would quote like this that, but the P is equal to, not this, but rather what? Negative 4Y minus 3X. Because even if you quote that P is equal to this and do the substitution of that VP, you will still get P to be equal to negative 4Y. Please help me get what I mean. So here you can quote that, but P is equal to this. So, yes, I'm going to write this. Where you see P put one there, and you get your particular solution. So, G negative 4Y minus 3X is going to be equal to. 4y minus 3x. I think it's like this one. Yeah. This one can do is 1 to 6. All over 64. Therefore, huh? yeah. Therefore, the solution which is in terms of x and y will be equal to simple. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like in I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. 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 I don't Okay, uh, let's have one more question, then we move on. Here, I need only the general solution. Give it to me. We're just for the next half hour. I need only the general solution. Which one? Why is that question? Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. You have to be careful. Do you know I mean? Do you know I mean? Only the general solution. I mean, you just have to be careful. But, 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 what will you do before you even go for it? You have to send it. Because looking at the linear general equation, the, the one that is in terms of you is outside the equal to. We now we see that looking at the general medium, the function is the of two case at this time. Yatra, yatra, yatra.
You can still do it because you just integrate both sides. Negative view, negative view. negative view? Okay, negative view. You just integrate both sides, and this is what? It's one. So it will be x equal to this is what? Lynch u. Hey. <coughs> I hope you haven't forgotten. Plus lane c. So we get s is equal to here lane lane c over u. 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 Then you go negative. Then you take natural yeah. log. Then you get e to power s is equal to c over c. So you get c to be equal to. Don't you get that one back? U T S. Natural output for the world is a natural law. Uh -huh. Additional division. Then additional division. Then you will need to take out the power. I want to take out the Okay, so now uh let's introduce C1 here. Okay, because you see. The first one that we saw, the first one that we saw, the first one that we saw, that one, it was excluding this. Here we have one, two, three. And we can pick this and this, like what we have done before. We have body, and we are done with that. But we are to form this one more two. In fact, you can pick this and this so that it will be simple for you. You see that? It's going to be simple, pick this and this, any of it that you pick. <laughs> huh? Once you pick this up, why not yes with you? Huh? What do you think? I said, once you pick the first and the third. This and this. No, when you pick the first and the third. The first and the last. The first and the and the second. What, what if we are done with this? No, no, anyone can win. But it's like we are going to now pick first and second. I think we have to pick the second person. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you are integrate, integrate, integrate what? Integrate it. Y plus C2. So C2 is equal to S minus. But listen here. It won't be like the first one that to be used to call G of C. Since we have two constants here, it will be whether this one it doesn't matter. You can make it C2 is equal to G C1 or C1, it depends on you. Any of it. But normally it's not because C2 is outside the uh, well. So now that we have C1 and C2. Yeah, the idea is that we have two solutions here, right? So we have to combine to get only one word, general solution. So with the combining, then we have to do this. You can use F, depending on when somebody is saying because of F, you yeah, shouldn't use F, no problem. So what is it? U e to the power X equal to Hmm? Okay, so what is C2? 
S minus Y, what is U at? And that is the general solution. That is the general solution. S minus Y. That is the general solution. You can even make U the subject if you want to. But if, if you want to make you the subject, see, please, uh, let, 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 let me emphasize on this. If you want to make you the subject, don't, don't let it be C2 equal to. Make it C1 is equal to G C2. You see that? If you want to make U the subject, so that you can get U e raised to the power x equal to G S minus what? Y. And now, by making C, uh, you the subject, please, please, as somebody said, uh, Mr. Ebenezer just said that you are in level 500, so don't be confused with this. So you, in terms of X and Y, is going to be E raised to the power mm -hmm. Simple. What is that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Indices. This is the solution. Which one are you taking? Is it a C is equal to C1 or I'm saying that you can end it here, but if you want to make you the subject, you see, since you define the U inside it, it's be difficult for you to make you the subject. So uh, that, that combination statement. It doesn't matter whether this or that, but check where the U is. So that when you are making the U the subject, you won't confuse yourself. Please have a question. Okay, right. It may be that let's say objectives. You don't have this thing, you have this thing. And definitely you have this thing because this is the proper form. Please have a question. This is the proper form. This is not proper form. In fact, I think uh, we shouldn't go for this. This is not a proper form. This is a proper form. And please, if you are confused here, you divide both sides by e raised to power x. And you divide one over e raised to power x. So to be what? e raised to power negative x. That's what I have e raised to power negative Okay, so we can proceed for uh, um, linear equations. We can proceed for the linear uh, So we are going to consider the general form of the what the characteristic equation. So we are going to identify our A, our B, and our what? C. Straightforward. What is the coefficient of this? X. That is the A. What is the coefficient of this? That is the B. And the whole of this is? The whole of this is? F. F. The whole of that is going to be the F. Consider the general solution. The whole of that. Because that when you consider the general solution, it says F in terms of, you see that? Very good. So, that, that, so just identify you know, by comparing. By comparing. By comparing this to the general uh, equation of semi semi linear quantity, by comparing <laughs> A is what x, b is y, and f is x e raised to one negative. So we are just going to do some pushing here. This is how the Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so just do some pushing. Just do some pushing. We are just going to do some more and more more here. Yes, so we are just going to do some pushing here. So the BS over A. The A is. Equal to, please, it's not flat, it's just equal to. The Y, the B is equal to the U. The F is negative. Now, watch. We are going to transform this. To get to OD, the result. So it can form any of it. 
Okay, it can form any of it. it. Can form whether separating of separating of variable right or homogeneous or whatever. It can form any of it. So uh, here we are going to form two equations. Whether this to this or this to this or that to that. Or it is whether by adding, let me go general, whether by adding, subtracting, dividing, or uh, multiplying, no, multiplying, uh, yeah, or multiplying, not uh, multiplying. So what can you see here? What can you see? The first of the four is the one. And multiplying by x, y. When we, let's put the first one in here. Let's put it. Let's take the first two. No. <laughs> my ex Let's go straight to the point. Let's watch something. Watch it. Let's watch something. Okay, watch it. Separation. Separable differential equation. Can you bring this one here? This one here. So only this. So we can write dy dx. This how we can see. We can write this one can come to this side. And then swap. You can swap this and this. Or let's say by cross multiply and then make the y here the subject. You can also say that. By cross, let's forget it. By cross multiplying, you can make the y here the subject. Yeah. Or? Yeah. I don't want to go through that procedure. Or should I? Yeah. In case somebody is not sleeping. Oh, it's okay. So it's okay. Yeah. So, then what are we going to get here? This one will go to so be y over. So that is going to form one. And this is just a simple can, can, can you solve the error solution for this? Can you solve the error solution for this? Separable. I know you have forgotten it. Separable differential equation. So this is one. Second. Uh -huh. Which one and which one also? That one must include this one. That last one must include that. So, what do you think? First and the last one. Uh, first and the last one. The first, the first and the last. Why the first and the last? Why the first and the last? Because of the X. There's a reason. Because of the X. Because of the X. Uh, or you want to say because you need x to be in the independent variable. That can be a reason. Another reason is just so that we can so that the s will cancel out this. You see? When we swap this, we will get the u d s here. And the top here will be s e raised to the power negative what? U. And the s there will cancel. Please I hope we can also see that. I hope we can also see that. Yeah. We are considering this to this. First one is this to this. Because why? Because when we get dy dx and y over x, we can just do this by applying our own d that is separable. And this to this because when we get this over this, the x will cancel out and we get u over gx. So this and this is um, they are all going to be in terms or they are going to be as respect to x. This will be as respect to x, and this one will be as respect to y, x. Because the y, dx, then it's u, dx. These are always correct. Alright, so here we are just coming to get the y, dx, and the u, dx. So with this, the y will be the dependent variable. I hope you know that. And here the u will be the dependent variable. So it's purely good. So the next one will be du dx equal to x e to the power negative u over x. x. So, please, is there any questions? This one. 
You can form it another way also, but at the end, you won't get the same thing. You can try to implement it the DSY and UDY. Um, you won't get the same thing. By then, that we are used to integrating as we know, we are going to take integration here. And we are used to integrating as respect to our X. That's why we want to make X to be a uh, probably here yeah, the translation can take place, right? Yeah. Translation can take place. Right? What? That, that yes. X. No translation. Oh, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let that another reason really why we are combining that first and the last. They can cancel out. So now we are going to take the Y here to be called to. Yeah, to, be called to be. So simply, you are going to be giving the Kochi, uh, semi linear Kochi, then just call this. Get your ABC, that's all. Any Kochi example you have, you cannot pick that question. Take this, and then find ABC, and just all of that. So now let's look at Y over X. I have a separate question, so what do you do? So what do you do now? We can get PD, what do you do? You have forgotten that. You will not think to revise some kind of words. And then the one we get, you see that? So that you have to learn, like, I'm using C problem. C problem differential equation. So you have to, you can get dx over x. It's clear. Then after that, you do what? You integrate both sides. You integrate this. But that's this how the equation was first. And then we said now we. But this is what you're having, and then we try. Then we are having the y over y is equal to the x over y. And then we separate it and we make it. We can be straight. And then we draw straight. We are using the same. This part we are done. So why do we. What is it that? The equation is already separated. And then we decide. Ah, yes, yes. After it was already separated. And then you make the y the x. Yeah, it's when we were forming the two. If you think that I need that, how do you know that this one and this one will be combined? You have to form this before you go. This one, like, um, uh, we are doing uh, separable. We want it to be separate. So from the forming... From the forming, now you go and show. That one, there, I don't know if you did it, like, what do you do? Uh, well, uh, yeah. You have to form this one before coming to the system. Yes, yes. And you need to use that. Uh, the method of what do you call it? To form it before you come and split the two uh, yeah, equations to solve. Always. Okay. So when this. But I know when they split the form. So when this part, that you also write the y the y over y equals the y over y. The y over y equals the y over y equals Yes, over x. Then what will be the next one? Then like, the ticket. The way you do it. Yes, that's yes. Because mm. u s u to the power negative. U to the power negative. You can. It's the same thing. This one will come here to form u to the s. This will go here. It will be the same thing. It will be the same thing. That's what I said. Some of you two can choose to get different things, but at the end, it's not the same thing. Please, I hope it's correct. Uh, so okay, so here, yeah, dy over y is equal to dx yes, over x. So this can be integrated both sides, so it's like this. You see that? And this one, too, so is like this. This like this. So what are we going to get here? Lean. Y. Lean. 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 Yeah, it's not coming. Come, come, come.
it's, it's coming. It's working. <laughs> okay, so now I'm with you, and you can write. You can combine it, okay? Yeah. Let's just find it out. So please, uh, if you've forgotten these things, please make sure you go for it because this is going to be a tenacious problem. So here yeah, we take what? The natural log of those sides. E, 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 E. Then we get Y is equal to C, X. But look at something. After solving this, you get it. After solving this, you get it. So it better you call this let C1. Alright? So the next one will be C2. Then we make C1 a subject. When we make C1 a subject, we get Y over X. Leave it. Let's go for the next one. Yes, like that. This will be quickly there. This will be our last example. The next time, continue you know, solving more questions. Okay, here to simply du ds is equal to how do you see this one is cancel it? So we get d raised to the power <coughs> how we can see what is happening. And with this, you can write it as du, please. I hope you are watching. Du is equal to E raised to the power negative what? U. Yes. But, you see, after here, you try to integrate both sides, right? But uh, this, this function, this transcendental function, is in terms of what? U. You can't integrate as respect to x. So, what do we have to do then? Yeah. Or, or we can we can make it like this. Now. We can make it like this. Yes. Indices. Yes. Clear. Yeah. <laughs> so now we can write the u. Oh, sorry. You raise the point u. The u is equal to what? The s. So we can now integrate both sides. <laughs> Let's go for our calculus and then you'll put it So you integrate both sides here. What are you going to get for this? Now the independent variable is you. So just give it to the point. That's all. You've got to. Here, don't forget, here is one. We are integrating one. Here, we are integrating one. Is it going to have to be there? The constant. X. Oh! Which is going to have to be X. So X plus C2. 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 Yes, C2. Since here is C1. Mm -hmm. Then after that, make C2 the subject. <laughs> make C2. C2 the subject. So that I can show us something to you right now. So, uh, human. Alright. Then don't forget that we want to write a general work solution. Please get in this and it. You are all used to it. Let's conclude. The general solution for a PD of a semi-linear portion. It's always in the form. I hope I can do this. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you get it. Oh, what do I do? Yeah. We are going to combine these two solutions. Please give me the first one. I hope you have it. You have the first one. Yes. How about you? How about you? The. General solution, we are going to combine the C1 to the C2. So then is C2 equal to G, that is a function. I will, I will explain it well. G2 into that F C1. This is how the general, how we combine to get one solution. You know this is a general solution. C1 is a general solution, C2 is a general solution. So we need to combine. 
And how do we combine that? Always. Always. C2 equal to G C1. C1. Where G is an arbitrarily constant. But I know that G is the arbitrarily constant.
we are make, we are looking for it's like it's like uh, solving all the money you see not come and easy. But in this case, we have two solutions. So we are looking for you. Uh, right after applying the for the added which we are looking for what the G. That's what. Yeah. Mm. So what x x plus plus or minus? So that means that the g of s is equal e raised to what x minus what x. So finally, let's write our general uh, our particular solution. So we can now get our particular solution. We have the g of s is equal to this, right? So you know what that means. Yes. C2 uh -huh. minus E to X C2. minus Where is C2? The C1 comes as You combine them We are combining them Yeah, we are combining them So, so you write G, G, G of C1 first Yeah, we are writing G first We are writing G of C1 first This is the G second We are writing G of C1 first G of C1 I will not use that one. C2 is equal to G into bracket XC1. So we need to get the G of C1 first. To write a particular solution. We are writing our final results. And now we are going to do some to get rid of that C and the G, right? The G, right? After. After combining, you do not want to have C1 and C2. Yes. So now, what? Yes. You see, we want to have C1. See, uh, we have all the things already. What do we need this substitution? This G. I'm coming. Okay, yeah, here. Yeah. Now we have E, uh, e raised to the power U, which is going to be equal to. So it's like this. We are writing. We are writing the general solution from here. I told you right after applying the combination. It, uh, sorry, right after applying the idea, it means we are looking for what? G. Now we are done. We have the G. Two or four. So we are going to write a particular solution. So we are going to be E raised to power U minus S. Or you can do to bring this to the other side. Which will be S plus. The G. the G. Now watch. This G is defined as this two or four. Yes. Let's watch something here. This G is this. What I mean is that the X here is representing Y over X here. Oh yes. So what this means is that wherever you see X, uh, Wherever you see X here, put Y over X here. Yes. Yes. Like composite. So you are finding G of Y over X. See, here they are. See, they are just like composite fans. See, let me tell you. Let me make it even the point we can have that now. Here it is applying the ID. That is finding G of X. I hope you are all clear for that. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to rewrite it. Now we have the G of X. So if. So we can use what you. If you are. 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 It's going to be called to S plus. Now watch. This G is defined here. It's like composite function. Uh, it's like composite function. Well, <laughs> you see, this x is the whole of this here. Yes. So if g of x is equal to this, that means that wherever you see x, you put y by x there. Or still. <laughs> Now, it's, it's between y over x, and uh, we have this, this is defined. See, this is not defined. This is defined. 
He is not defined. By this defined to be e, e power x minus, minus y. Yeah. X. So it's like a cumulative function. Given that g of x is equal to this, find this. Given that g of x is this, find this. Why here is in terms of x? Because here is x. So if you're looking for this, it's supposed to be in terms of x and y. So it's like giving that this, find this. So to find it, wherever you see x here, put y there, y over x. So it will be y over, this x will be y over x. E over, uh -huh. minus, here will be y over x. So instead of writing, now that is x plus, I'm copying the same thing. But instead of writing this, it's defined here. Clear. This is defined. Yes. G of S is defined. So if you are writing the general, sorry, the particular solution, this is a general solution because this is the arbitrary constant. This is the general solution. To get a particular solution, now you have the G of S defined. The G of S is this. So to write this, you don't need to write this again. But write what is defined. By bringing the argument. So, you are going to copy this, but this is just g of x. You are looking for g of y on x. So, when you see x, you have put y over x. So, it will be e raised to power y over x plus y over x. And this will be the, j, the, the particular solution, which is in terms of the dependent variables and the independent variables. Which x? It should be there. Uh, is it supposed to be there? No. The x will be there. How do you use the other one? Where is the same for the g? This is the x. Ah, he's picking this one. So we know same 2. Okay. So we're going to apply g of c1. Where are the same thing? So we're going to apply the same thing. Ah, so we're going to apply the same thing. Yes, c1. And we know c1 to be x over y. What is the IUB is getting the G of X. See, anything the the IUB C is the IUB S and S pair. So they're going to be the focus for you to get G of X. Then we see why this is kind of this is the particular solution. Because we are finding G of X. The first X is the first is uh-huh. It's from where? The X is there already. We are copying this. But it's not that one that Place by y over x. Place by y over x. No, 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 no. You're confusing me. It's like this. Why is it that you are copying the same thing? Why is it that you are copying the same thing? Why is it that you are copying the same thing? Minus the last one. Oh, minus 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 the G of x is equal to this. That means that when you see x here, put y over x there. So only this is this. So come and replace. Alright. Internal. What are you doing here? The time that we also watch that is what are you doing here? Okay, let's move on. So. For sum for s being greater than zero, s u subscript s plus y u subscript s
Full stop. The characteristic equation. Oh, sorry. A semi linear forty problem. Since we have visited this before, let's travel a little more. Like I said, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. The fact that it's here and this is and this, but here, no matter what is there, it's S value. So S, no matter S uh, ordinate, no matter Y ordinate, Z ordinate, no matter. Always here. All right. So quickly, let's move on. What is A? What is B? What is C? S. The whole of it. The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Quickly, so we get the S equal to A equal to A for C. Oh, those things are not. The Y will be zero. There is nothing like that. So that means we there is there no C term. So. Uh, okay, this should be y. This should be du over s. Quickly, let's move on. Form two ODE right now. Yeah, the reason for using the the reason for using the characteristic equation is to get the what the word. So from the OD. That's already a problem. Okay, then let's. Uh, the next time, I think that, that's certainly after the idea. Mark the record. At least they are going to be show up from here. <laughs> so we can form C. Therefore, we have to be careful. We have to be careful in the choosing. Therefore, we have to be careful in the choosing. We can see that when this, when we play this to this, it will be very simple for us because we know that this is what a function and two derivatives. So I see that. This is a function and it what derivative. So, so, you see that it will be simple for us. So, we can write this because the function and this one, this will form one. Again, this to this, this to this, which one will help us? First and last. The first and the last. Because if you pick this, here is uh, dy, here is u. So, where will you take this x? You see that? You see that? When you are separating, it will be difficult for you to get through that. So, combining this to this will be helpful. And even with this, even if you don't know that, the first thing is really You can even send this to this address, but it will still be the same thing. So, just move on. Integrate both sides, yes, over x. Equal to integrate both sides dy over y. This is a function and its derivative, right? Sure. So you can rewrite this as integral of 1 over x dx. This is what integrate 1 by x. You get what? Linear simple. Lean plus lean. This is single characters, so don't be writing F in here for the right one. So we lean, we go to lean, <coughs> S is equal to C, and the focus is that we are making C the subject. Go for C term. 
Why? Because of that. Okay. Oh, this one already. The x over x be equal to what is that? Du over x u is equal to Is this separate? No. Is it well separate? No, no, no. If no, separate. <laughs> So yes, and there is here. And you know something. This you can write it as or very or very Or we should go back to this. Okay, so now this one is because the negative when you go to this, we can shower out this. So we can integrate this one. It's just old. Oh, let me see. So this one will get x equal to this one. The operator. The bar. The, yeah, so this is the bank bank. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So, what do you see here? X minus minus five. And we have some of these questions in the last week. I don't know that I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 so we can write C2. Now we are combining. You see where we are? We are we, now we are combining. So C2 is equal to G of C1. So what is C2? S minus, S minus E raised to the power G is equal to G of S over Yes, where we had so I bring last because of composite function. Is that can we make it C1 is equal to G of C G of C Oh you can you can you can you can but see like I said the U, you see, certain things depend on where the U is. Because if you bring C2 inside, the U will be inside, it will be something else for you. Because I always play. So certain that depend on where the U is. You mean, so that always put the U aside. Always take the U aside. Very good. Now, from where we are, is the general solution. So, therefore, we go and apply our function. U is S is Y is So by substitution, please I will watch it. By substitution to this, S is e to the power x again equal to g of y is over y is. Sorry, x is x. x is x. Y, y is x squared. No, so x over y. Yeah, is this y or x? x, x. x, x. x over so y. x, 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 x is over x squared. x squared. Then y, okay, okay. 
of j dot s minus and what is that? Yeah, and this is not similar to the one that we saw. I think there is interchange here. It depends on how we will take the, the integration. Is there any mistake somewhere? There's no mistake, but if you turn it, Okay, but yes, so we can show. So we can set the P. Mm. Yeah, we can set the P. But know that this G of We all can see that. And we can set P here to be equal to 1 over X. Hope you guys what you mean. The same thing though. Then we make an answer. Then we make P and X the right. You see, everything here is in terms of what? X. You see, everything here is in terms of X. So, we are going to get X to be equal to 1 over what? P. So it means that here, where you see S, put one there. 1 over P. So go ahead and do that. Mm, yeah. Depends on how it is. Say, say, say. Think the concept is one more. Alright. So, see, this is going to be like the same thing. You know. uh -huh. So, uh, the one that I gave to you on the classroom, now you can wear. So, you don't know have to say this. So, this will be P equal to. So, when you see X, you put one there. The, the P, which is what? 1 over F. 1 over P. So here you get 1 over P minus P is the power of 1 over P. Okay. So now, like I said, by default, when you are setting the P, when you are setting the P, the same as it's the same as it's the same as it's the same as it's the same as this so we are going to quote everything here again or we can write it to be the P is what? S over Y equal to 1 over the P is what? S over Y please help me can see that the P is S over Y so we are going to do substitution. The P is what? S over Y. Please watch. S over Y. 1 over X over Y. So this will become Y over X. We are going to get the same thing. Minus E raised to the power Y over X. But don't forget. The GS is this. So the general solution or the particular solution is going to be S minus E to the power U is equal to Y over X minus E Y over X. That's all. Yes. And you can choose not to end here. You can send this to this side, take the lean on both sides, and you, that, I think that's what is in the book. You take the lean on both sides so that you get the U by making you the subject. This what you have done here. Is, like, we are just looking for this because that is what is here. And there is something here. So you are forgetting this. You come and equate to that. When you go, you can take your time and look through, you get it. It's not written by it. So, S, we are making this the subject. Let's send this to this side. Um, S, negative Y over X, 
plus B exponent equal to then we take the unit of both sides. So when you take the mean, you get u to be equal to the to both be there. Then the mean of the whole of this. Yeah. Exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. So that's all. That's it. That can be the uh, that particular solution. So we have pent eight waves. Then we are continuing solving the questions in the book. I hope you all have it. Let me write the next question for you to try. Yeah, you have to find the tell the general solution of Go for the general solution. <clears throat> Alright, so in our next meeting, that is Saturday, 12 o'clock, you will start with passing linear PDs. Passing linear PDs. Then, after that, that day, uh, yeah, I can add the change of variable. Uh, so, Sunday, we will end everything about best for that. So, that next meeting, as we start with second order PD, we start with second order PD. So, in case of any question, you can ask, we are done. Yeah. Yeah, you have to uh -huh. yes, over so yes. to be the yes over A. Yes. Over A. Yes. Over A. Yes. Oh. So this will be BZ over 1. Then we ignore this part. Oh, it's not very low. You can use the game. I don't know what I can do. Yes, 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 yes,